फंक्शन वगैरह उस दिन के टाइम में schon die letzten zwei Jahre, wie wir angefangen haben, auch Kunstszenen äh, zu beleuchten, wo es keinen aktiven Kunstmarkt gibt, ähm, ist Aserbaidschan die Fortsetzung davon. Wir stellen aus äh, mit Jarat, die haben sich ein, ein, die Ausstellung äh, ausgesucht, Sowjet, das ist ein, äh, so das ist ein äh, Stadtteil in Baku, den es bald nicht mehr gibt, der wird zerstört und das ist ähm, wurde erbaut als äh, Gastarbeiter in Baku kam. Und jeder, äh, jeder kennt das, jeder in Baku oder in Aserbaidschan kennt Sowjetski. Und ähm, das ist ein Kommentar dazu, zu Stadtteilen, die es nicht mehr gibt in wirtschaftlichen, äh, in wirtschaftlichen Umzeiten äh, und das abgetragen. Und in diesem Fall Sowjetski äh, kamen alle Art Gastarbeiter zusammen, haben angefangen ihre Häuser zu bauen. Der eine wurde reicher, der eine wurde ärmer und nebeneinander so werden Geschichten erzählt von persönlichen Hauseigentümern, der eine wurde reicher, der eine andere, so konnte man das ablesen. Wir sind sehr froh, dass Aida Marunderer, das ist die Gründerin der Jarat Foundation, dieses Jahr bei uns hier aufstellt. Vielen Dank. Um, today we're going to talk about um, art in Azerbaijan and more specifically how the art scene has developed over the last couple of years. In 2012, in spring, I was asked whether I want to become artistic director of Vienna Fair. Well, and since I loved Vienna Fair before, I said yes. So in May 2012, I became the official artistic director of Vienna Fair. And since then, um, I did the third version just now. As an artistic director, you basically have to be an expert in pretty much everything. Because you, uh, together with the managing director, control every aspect of the fair. So basically you have a vision that you try to accomplish. You are responsible for the design of the fair, for the look of the fair, for the feel of the fair, and for the atmosphere that you want to uh, produce uh, with events, with talks, with people that are meeting, with dinners. So you're pretty much responsible for every aspect. Obviously you have great managers doing the aspects, but you should have a vision for each of it. And obviously the artistic side, you are absolutely responsible for the galleries and for the projects that are participating at the fair. I think the fair, we picked up where it was and we developed it further and we concentrated it. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis 
on the VIP program and collectors and museums attending the fair. Uh, we created a very nice program, I would say. I got very good feedback for it um, for all interested audiences and we do very nice service for them. And uh, our VIP team just really got amazing feedback for it. And the other, we created programs for pretty much all of our target groups, so, so collectors for uh, seniors, for students, for young people, for families, so that we can really talk and have something to offer for all different age groups and all different interests. The NFR has the mission not only to show established gallery scenes and markets, but also to show um, places and areas where there is no established market or gallery scene. So that's why I approached uh, Jarad this year to be part of Yen Affair because you have just amazing artists and they should be presented. I'm uh, very happy to have you here so in every talk I do or in every welcoming speech and I do many in the day I tell the story of the Sovietsky and um, people going back and, uh, and uh, come back to me and tell me that they really loved it what you do yeah so they didn't know much of it but they loved the, also it's a, also a critical approach on the construction boom in Baku and it's a very light and very good criticism as in art. It's not direct, but it comes uh, yeah, in, a, in a different format and they really like it and they feel really attracted to it. I am collecting art myself and um, yeah, my husband and I, we have a collection in, uh, in, in the various homes wherever we live. We have art and we wouldn't want to miss it. Thank you.